I have an update for my YouTube thinking I'm not um, suitable for all advertisers. Well, here is the video that I did yesterday. YouTube thinks I'm not suitable. I minimized it. YouTube thinks I'm not suitable for all advertisers. Yep, there's the thumbnail for it and everything. Title. It's not suitable for every dollar. Ever. Yeah. It's not suitable for all advertisers now. So, is it just. Okay, so let's try to. Let's actually try to request another review. Okay, click the link, brings up the page, and then it says request manual review. Okay, brings the thing up to where it says to. Well, <laughs> to confirm it. So, put a check there, hit submit for review, and it just goes back to this page here. Holy cow. I've just lied. I was going to say, it never saves it and actually does that. Because I've been trying to do it all day. But it just did it. So, sorry about that. It actually submitted the review. But the problem is, is I still don't have over a thousand views in seven days, so they're not going to do anything. But that's my fault. I did make a mistake there. I thought that because all day today I've been trying to submit this thing for re the review, but it never would. If I've got one more, the one uh, that actually submitted yesterday called the excavator, which is what my son calls an excavator. Let's try this one. And this one. Oh, you did too. Alright, cool. But, this is just weird. I have tried to look at these trying to figure out why they are getting rated this way. What did, what's in these videos that could be actually considered unsuitable and because I'm trying I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm gonna try to give them the benefit of the doubt maybe there's something I'm not noticing of and I've went through there's one two three four five or six videos okay and that is about let's see yeah 20 about an hour and a half worth of footage. And yeah, I watched an hour and a half. That's the most conceited thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. Because, here's the way, cause when you do a YouTube video, or if you make it like something like this, so you've recorded it, then you've transferred it to your computer, and you've done the video editing. That means you've watched the video. And me, I don't do a large amount of video editing, but if you're like some of the people out there, and I just realized my shirt is like pushed forward, and it's like, no wonder it feels so weird on me. Um, um, but some people, they have to watch this sit there for the footage hours, I mean, very long periods of time, so they can get the video just the way they want. I don't do all that, but I do watch it at least once, sometimes twice. And then, I'll, and then after I've done my video editing, I've exported it and actually I'll fast forward to the video to make sure it's all the audio is synced up and everything looks correct. But today I watched an hour and a half of myself. <laughs> and in all honesty, I have no idea. I looked at the community guidelines about the violence and everything. I was like, maybe I said something. Maybe I did. Maybe, maybe I, there's something I'm not noticing. I didn't realize I did. But no, there's nothing. I didn't break any of the rules, none of the guidelines they set out, and still yet I have six videos to for yet six videos marked as not suitable for all for all advertisers. Just don't know. So, if any of you guys are getting this, please let me know. It's just, uh, just. It's just crazy. I don't know. It's really...
uh, taking the fern out of doing YouTube. I mean, I, I, I did enjoy it a lot. And then the, then the whole thing with people uh, doing the copyright claims when it, it wasn't, they weren't the copyright owners and they're trying to take the, basically take the revenue from your video. And they basically did stuff to stop that. And I, I, don't get me wrong, people, they, they file copyright claims on my stuff. I'm like, you, you uh, dispute it and you get it back. The problem is, is that I was never a big enough YouTuber for it to really affect me or them to gain anything from it. But if they did that to somebody like, uh, what's his name, Casey Neistat or Philip DeFranco or H3H3, one day of revenue is a lot of money. So, it just that that kind of and that kind of stuff kind of really irked me because it's it's like people abusing the system, but they did correct it eventually. It's just now, Chloe. What are you doing, <laughs> oh, baby girl? Come here, daddy. She's like, nope. Corgi's below my camera right now. She's just like kind of edging closer and closer. Because I've got my tripod sitting between the chair and the ottoman. And she wants to lay between them. So she can't with this with this tripod there. But. Yeah. But the fact that they made it to where. They made it so easy for people to abuse the system. And it's like oh. You say you're the copyright owner of this? Okay, cool. We believe you. We will let you um, take the revenue from this. Oh, and if, if it finds out that you really weren't the copyright owner, we'll still let you keep it. That type of stuff was just seems so stupid to me. But, I mean, I don't think they're doing anything that they nefarious. I think they're trying to do what they think is right, but I do see I do it does seem like they're caving in to some group or something. I don't know what it is really. I mean, I don't know if they're people are saying so this the social justice warriors and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't think they are. I mean, they're a business. If they know if they, if they understand if they do all that, they're going to lose people. And they're going to go to another platform. They go to another platform, that platform gets big, and, they, and then they're like, oh crap, we've just lost a lot of stuff. Don't get me wrong, YouTube's had some issues recently with the, with, what's it called? Adgate, or whatever it was called. But yeah, it's just, they're really taking the fun out of it. Because... You put things up there and then people just um, go through and it's like, oh, that's my content. No, you're not in the video. I have no music in it and it's me talking to, a ca to, to my camera. How is that your content? And I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time, the next day, the video has been released at, at the copyright claim has. But it's just so crazy. Like there's the video, I, um, the automated systems are what really irk me because another video I had of my son was uh, dancing to this anime. This is the, the ending theme of an anime that I was watching on TV and my son started dancing. I pulled up my cell phone and recorded him do, to doing it and I was, and it was less than 30 seconds so that, for, that's fair use. But it's also the same exact case of, I can't remember the late White versus Prince or something like that. I think that the, the kid was dancing to a Prince song and Sony Pictures or whoever was suing him, tried to sue him and they took him to court and they won. They basically beat the music company and said, no, you have to, um, you have to, what was it, they have to, prove that they that they have to look at it and know that it's wrong that it's actually infringement and it and I was flagged by an automated system and I submitted a a, 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 a counter rebuttal or whatever they call it I can't remember 
I dispute it. I dispute. That's it. And it was released. And I was like, oh. He was like, oh yeah, it's um, because I actually put that court. I put that case. I had the name, and the number, and everything. I said this is basically the exact same thing as this because it's my son dancing to a song from an anime to the same thing as the woman's whose his son or daughter was dancing to a Prince song. And it's just an automated system. Nobody's looked at your video. At all. Nobody's seen it. The the YouTube the the, the video I have for the YouTube things have uh, not suitable for all advertisers. That was flagged for not being suitable for all advertisers before it was released. Nobody had seen it. It had been uploaded to my channel and before anybody saw it, an automated system flagged it. There have been many people, I think it was Sigwin Destroyer, I think the LJ, LJN Defender guy, um, he had that done to um, a video where he was reviewing, I think it was Mortal Kombat Annihilation, the movie, that he was flagged. Before, like the second it was uploaded, it was flagged. Uh, Metal Jesus Rocks, he was flagged, I think, by also Nintendo video game music the second it was uploaded. So nobody had looked at it, nobody had seen it. But an automated system is like, oh, sorry, no. Things like that really upset me. Because, basically, you're guilty until proven innocent. And people are like, oh, no, it, it's we had to do it this way to prevent people from pirating and doing all this other stuff. And now that Netflix and... Um, Amazon Prime and Hulu and HBO Go or Now or whatever the one you don't have to have a cable service is called and all these other services are out there it people would rather do those or, or paying for those because it's the convenience they want it's I mean it's like okay I can pay 10 bucks a month and get access to all these movies and I don't have to worry about going, looking for it, downloading it, make sure it's the right quality, is the audio in sync, is all this stuff. And don't get me wrong, there's, there's always going to be people that's going to want to download the pirate because either they don't have the money or they just don't want to pay for it or they're just some teenager that thinks it's cool. It, you're always going to have that group. But the mass majority of people, don't get me wrong, if it's on YouTube, it's going to be easy to find. So I do understand not letting them upload movies to YouTube. But there should, they shouldn't allow a basically a company, any company, to come in with a club and basically beat people over the head and say, no, that's mine. You, you, you can't do that. Really? Or even, a lot of times, not, it, uh, it's not even the person that owns the content has the club. It's some Joe Schmo trying to steal money from somebody else that's saying, oh, sorry, that, that's mine. And then you file a dispute saying, no, it's not. They're like, oh, yeah, sorry, it's not. I mean, the past, if you look at some of the things that people have claimed as theirs, um, somebody was claiming that the sound of nature, like birds chirping and like just the sound of nature, was theirs. They had the copyright for that. And... Uh, a number of people that basically were recording videos outside were getting copyright strikes against them and then they disputed it and I think I can't remember if it went to court or not but they was like you can't copyright the sound of nature so basically oh man my eye is itching I know I'm so professional in my videos so basically YouTube seems to be doing. I understand what they're doing. They're wanting to be as nice to the advertisers as they can. It's like, hey, if I, if, um, because if, if I mean think, but if you tee off Warner Brothers or Sony Pictures or something like that, and when their new movie comes out and they're like, yeah, we're not going to advertise on YouTube. Well, that's a pretty big hit. So. 
it's really, I don't think it's social justice warriors or anything like that. It's money. That's what it is. They are catering to the music industry and the movie industry and any other industry that will pay them money. Whatever they, they can do to make those groups happy. I mean, for their own. No, no, but no car company or movie company or anything like that wants an ad shown right before some racist video. And it doesn't matter if it's racist against blacks or whites or Asians or any group. It doesn't matter. No, no, no company wants to be associated with that. No company wants to be associated with like any extremist group or like a terrorist group or anything like that. They don't want their ad associated with that. So. I can understand that. If I was a company, I wouldn't want mine associated with that either. But it seems like YouTube's going so far to bend over backwards to accommodate that that they're basically saying they're basically kind of screwing over content creators. And me, I'm I'm the little guy. I don't have. I, t I in a hundred years I couldn't make enough from YouTube to basically live on for a week. I'd say. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think I could, I could, I probably couldn't buy a tank of gas for, if I, if, for, if I took what I currently, if what I've currently made through on YouTube since I started and basically kept, what, and kept going through that for the next how many ever years to be a hundred, I probably couldn't buy a tank of gas. <laughs> so, me saying, oh, it's destroying my channel. No, it's not destroying my channel because I don't make anything on my channel. Don't get me wrong though, if someday somehow I get a lot of subscribers and this keeps happening, yes, that would affect me. That would affect the revenue I'd be able to get from the channel, but right now it's not. It's just the fact that all this going on really takes time away from actually doing the stuff for the channel and you have to deal with um, stupid stuff like this. Either other people trying to abuse the system or YouTube basically accusing you of something that you didn't do, which is exactly what they have done there when they label your video as not suitable for all advertisers. So, hope you guys enjoyed my video. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of, let me that second rant in a row tomorrow I'll try to be more calm and be in a better happy mood but the fact that I upload a video and the second but I mean before it even before it goes live like pretty much as soon as I upload it and it's processed flagged not suitable for all advertisers so much fun but hope you guys had a good day Mine was just very, very long. Lots of work. Not enough time to finish everything. <laughs> but, oh, wait a minute. Somebody asked me, I was talking about my dogs today. What was your name? Asked me about my dog Thor that was sitting on my lap yesterday. And I am going to show you my dog Chloe now. Give me a sec. I was actually trying to find this individual's name. Leon Holt, he's some better that commented on my on my uh, VidMe uh, channel. Yeah, I believe that's how they say that name. Sorry if I said it wrong, but let me show you Chloe. Sorry, I gotta move my camera off the tripod. That is Chloe. She's acting careful because of the tripod. But, like I said, been a good day. Talk to you tomorrow.